Good morning everyone, Jopke here from the Netherlands and today I'm going to make a postcard for you I've been asked a couple of days ago by Mandy of the Sunday postcard art blog if I could host a challenge for her and the blog and uh, yeah I'm very excited of course I uh, would love to do that and um, that basically means that I make a card for you I pick a theme make a card and hopefully that card will inspire you to make your own card and uh, you can post it on the blog and uh, well you can play along so that's what I'm going to do today um, the theme I've picked is kind of obvious I think <laughs> Um, what else than circles? Uh, circles is a theme you see very often in uh, mixed media and art journaling because a lot of people love working with circles, so do I. So, uh, well, I thought to do circles. Keep it simple for my first time uh, doing this cha challenge. And I'm going to make this on... Um, watercolor paper size 6 by 4 inches and uh, probably will going to glue this down on another piece of a cardstock to make it a very nice card and I'm not going to use very much of color red of course and white and maybe a bit of black and uh, grayish color tones there will be some uh, stamping and I'm going to use these circles that I have cut out which has beautiful um, emb embossing in it I hope you can see beautiful branches um, with leaves and uh, so I've chosen this red and I have cut out some uh, circles from a dictionary I also did that uh, the plan is to gesso this piece of uh, watercolor paper and what I'm going to do next I'm not sure yet but um, it will um, hopefully uh, will result in a very nice card so I'm going to speed things up for you and do a voice over for the rest of the video so let's go so the first thing I do is just sewing my uh, piece of watercolor paper with a gesso from Van Blijswijk and I'm adding that with a little spatula to give it some texture as well and then I am um, using a black acrylic spray paint and uh, some water to make some smudges on the surface these are stamps from indigo blue circled stamps and I'm using the stays on yet black ink pad to stamp some circles and trying to uh, figure out where to put them cleaning the stamps on a piece of paper and this is a stamp by Joy Crafts it's a script stamp and I'm only using a part of it and uh, a stamp from Finna Bear, the messy script then I am positioning my circles and I'm adding them uh, to the paper with a Mod Podge
and these are clear stamps from Craft Sensations and uh, it has some tiny little birds on them and I'm using those to stamp on the book text circles. And again, I'm using the Stazon Jet Black ink pad. Sticking those down with a glue stick. And this is a Faber-Castell artist pit pen, uh, which I'm going to use to outline the circles and also using uh, a water brush to make a bit of uh, a kind of shadow effect around the circles. Um, the artist pit pen from Faber-Castell is a permanent uh, one uh, once it's dry but you can uh, manipulate it a bit with a water brush if you just put it on. And making some splatters with the acrylic spray paint again. And these are some uh, words uh, which says uh, gather round. And I'm outlining that with the Faber Castell artist pit pen. And then use some um, double sided tape to put them on the card. These are some pearl stickers and there were some white hearts on them and I put one in the circle uh, on the right bottom of the card and inking the edges with the Stazon yet black ink pad again and then using a double sided tape again to add my card to the cardboard, double folded cardboard. So that's it for my card. I hope you've enjoyed watching the process. I will uh, leave you a link in the description box to the uh, blog of the postcard art challenges. And I do hope you play along. That's it for me, guys. Hope to see you again very soon. Bye bye.